a couple months ago, this was all in the news back in November. New Transformers series introduces its first non-binary robot. And of course, you know why this is happening. You know how cringe it is. We've heard all of these people in Hollywood, all these executives, leaked Zoom calls, people admitting that they not only target children, that they have a not-so-secret gay agenda, but they're intentionally doing it. There's a plan behind all of it. And so you knew that when a simple thing came out, it's like Nightshade's pronouns are they, them. You knew that wouldn't be it. This was the initial introduction. We'll remind everybody. Back in November. Of course. Um, Martin, can you switch... Uh... Nightshade's pronouns are they, them. He or she just doesn't fit who I am. My apologies. Please switch their piece. Yeah. Right. That's cringe. And if it was just that, it would be cringe. And I think there'd be a lot of people who you know, still wouldn't want their children watching if they knew about it. However, it becomes more and more obvious how truly insidious some of this shit is when you see the season finale after they made this introduction, what happens. Okay, this is from, and this did come out like a month or two ago. I checked just to make sure, but this is like from the the season finale of this shit. My pronouns are they them. This is a person who has she they on their lunchbox or purse or whatever this is. By the way, I'm she they, but you already know that. <laughs> Wow, what an amazing city. It's kind of a long clip, but it's it's worth watching. I'm sorry for how I reacted. It's just sometimes the world can be a scary place. It's hard to know who's dangerous or not. The world can be a scary place. It's hard to know who's dangerous or not. So who should I trust, right? Who, who should I trust inherently and implicitly? Hmm. That's true, though disappointing. Hey, it's okay. I know I'm safe when I'm with my friends or other non-binary people. Oh my God. I know I'm safe when I'm with my friends or other non-binary people. So if you see any, you know, trans people, non-binary people, they, thems, you're safe. You're safe with them. You're safe, with, you're them. safe with them. You're safe with people just because they have the same fucked up pronouns as you think you do. Yep. This is this indoctrination. Is next level, dude. This, this is, is my parents are pissed. Yes. Uh, but now, we, this, we don't this, 100%, well, uh, this is 100% well this is 100% indoctrination and this is what we've been talking about for the longest time and imagine a kid being at a young age watching this and and that that's what they're going to that's that's all they're going to do is they're going to buy into that they're going to start having biases towards people that don't identify or have pronouns and all of that and it's going to motivate them to think that's what they need to do it's sick it's twisted and again, this is what the leftists want. This is what Hollywood wants. And this is why people need to continue to call it out. Because guess what? The culture is important. Culture is very important. And entertainment is important. And that's what we've been talking about for a long time. So again, a lot of people said, well, you guys are just, you guys are just upset over your Space Wizard movie. That is not why people were upset. People were upset because they started to see that these things were being hijacked in order to push an agenda. And now look where we are. It's all really started with Ghostbusters 2016. That's kind of where it really was obvious to at least the hardcore people. And then, of course, Last Jedi took it to another level. Now here we are with Transformers basing their entire fucking story arcs off of they, them pronouns and non-binary people. This, and it won't slow down. It's only going to get worse. Just when you think we have reached the peak of this nonsense, they will do something even more ridiculous. So just get prepared.